Welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Now, it's no news that Nigeria has a new Inspector General of Police by the name Usman Al-Kali Baba. And uh, the big issue here is setting the agenda for his new term as Inspector General of Police. There are lots of security challenges in Nigeria, and we're about to discuss the big issues before him. We've invited security analyst Mukaila Akinshimoyi to help us discuss this. Good morning, Mr. Akinshimoyi. Can you hear me? Good morning. Yes, thanks for joining us. Can you hear me? I'm hearing you. Fantastic. So, finally, President Muhammadu Buhari, you know, has appointed the new Inspector General of Police, Usman Al-Kali Baba, uh, replacing Mohamed Adamu after a controversial tenor extension when he was supposed to have, you know, retired in February, February 1st, 2021. Now, there are lots of challenges in the country regarding security, and uh, I want us to start, you know, with a general view. What are some of the police reforms and the policies you think that uh, the new IGP should immediately get to work at solving? Hello. Hello. Yes, please go ahead. We can hear you. Uh, yeah, uh, please. I, I can't hear you clearly. So, there's just some sound in the background there. Um, can you hear me now? Okay, I'm hearing now. Okay. I was asking for your opinion on what suggestions you would give regarding the police reforms that needs to begin to be implemented in the country. Okay. Okay, is it regarding the police, uh, Johnson? Police reforms. Police reform. Yeah. Can you, um, Mr. Um, Akin Simoy, can you hear us? I'm hearing faintly. All right, we're asking about okay, police reforms and uh -huh. what, your okay. expectation, what your expectations are from the new acting inspector general of police. Uh, what reforms okay. do you expect that he should immediately start with? Okay, thank you. You know what? It appointing new inspector general of police where, to me, it is not the solution. Are you hearing me? Yes, go ahead. Because police have established for themselves the notorious reputation for being a sadistic organization. Public confidence in the police has waned since most of the police officers belong to a class which may be defined not as criminally insane, but as insanely criminal. The Nigerian police has failed in its function and declined its dignity and value. As for the police here, the vital thought has flown. The root is dead, the stock is dry, the leaf withered, and the fruit rotten. You see, we are all Nigerians. Whether we like to admit it or not, we have a group of untrained and ill-equipped, intensely corrupt persons of questionable competence and doubtful integrity, charged with the responsibility of prevention and detection of crime. So, because this attacker does not need any probing questions, we all know it. All right. Um, I, I also want you to speak on um, how he can, well, you've already mentioned that changing the IG is not really the problem, but that's where we found ourselves. So the current um, acting inspector general is faced with uh, security challenges across Nigeria that, um, you know, are, are, are numerous. Um, what do you think, you know, the pressure on him would be like as it stands? And what, you know, do you expect of him? Uh, immediately he resumes work. Okay. What is the set of a new IGP? Yes. In what uh, ways can, can he act different from Mohamed Adamu, the former IGP? Yeah. Pardon? Oh, God, this network. Mr. Mukaila, can you hear us? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. So I'm asking, as he resumes office, you already mentioned that uh, changing the IGP is not you know, the answer to Nigeria's security problems. But that's where we yeah. have found ourselves currently. 
And so what agenda would you set for him? You know, what things would you say he may do different from Mohamed Adamu, the, the former or outgoing Inspector General of Police? Well, uh, what, what, what I want the new IGP to do is... Uh, Please go ahead. Am I correct? Yes, go ahead, sir. Yeah. They uh, should have a very good stance against corrupt practices. Because there is no contesting the fact that there are numerous secret adherents of these professions in the corridor of power there, who are still in the closet that needs to be flushed out, not just only the ID. So therefore, the structure in the Nigeria police force to meet the challenges of the global best practice is long overdue. The type of police we need is a police force that is committed to the enforcement of the law and order. That is uh, to protect life and property and to serve with integrity. It must be efficient and more responsive to operational needs and to be able to prevent and detect crime. Well, after all, the test of police efficiency <clears throat> is the absence of crime and disorder and not the evidence of police action in dealing with it. All right. Okay. While speaking to the media, Usman Baba said he wants to leave a legacy of policing with a human face. What do you think he means by that? He, might, he wants to leave what, please? He wants to leave a legacy of policing with a human face. <laughs> okay, well... If we if were able to do that, fine. But I doubt it. You know what? Um, the, what I've told you the type of police we have. Because the need for further transition of police force is necessary. But I doubt whether they are sending because my own suggestion, I've said it long time, that they should disband the Nigerian police entirely and establish new ones. Honestly, because continue to do something like this, it's like building a, a, a fine building on sandy foundations. Honestly, I don't trust anybody in that place. But why? why? Why is that? Why don't you have trust for the police and even faith for the new IGP? Why, that, why do I what, please? I said, why don't you have trust for the police and faith in the new IGP that he would accomplish what he said he would? Oh. What, 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 what I mean, because if they are going to be reformed at all, we know uh, what uh, what uh, if we uh, if they are going to reform, they are going to establish another independent something, independent institution <coughs> that will be auditing police to ensure compliance. <coughs> you understand? Okay. All right. Uh -huh. To ensure compliance. So, they, in case of any policeman or any officer that messed up anywhere, once it's reported, it's quickly investigated and then that, uh, and the action taken against him or her. Once that one is done, not just give everything in the hand of IG, because most of them that messed up this, uh, this uh, institution, I don't recall IG boys, commissioner's boys, uh, zona commander's boys, this and that. They are there like that. Mr. Mukaila. Everywhere. Mr. Mukaila, um, I want to quote uh, something from the Nation newspapers this morning. Um, okay. A statement uh, the IG is uh, credited to have uh, made. It says, uh, the IG says, I will battle banditry, kidnapping, and secessionists. 
so I want you to focus on the last word there, secessionist. And uh, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think that should be one of the challenges for the new Inspector General of Police? Uh, secession is uh, such a, a security threat to Nigeria as it seems. Okay, you know what? For him to have said so, why? But this thing, uh, they has need to set up at any level of command a tactical operation. You understand? It's like to say, we, we, based on intelligence report, intelligence requirement and intelligence uh, management. So, he, he, uh, for him to say so, what I'm telling you, the personality that you have there now, I doubt, even if he gave that instruction, I doubt. Honestly speaking, banditry, district uh, kidnapping, gunmen operating all over the place. No, I I'm, I'm, no, I'm asking. Police, I'm asking. Uh, huh? I'm asking really about secessionists, and you know his statement with, of course, naming them as one of the things that he will tackle. Do you think that secessionists are a security threat in Nigeria uh, currently, and the Inspector General of Police should, you know, have them as a top of the list of things that must be tackled? Uh, please, can I hear you again, please? Not clear to me. Did you get the question, sir? Can you hear me now? Pardon? You said? Can you hear me clearly now, sir? Okay, okay, okay. I'm asking about the Inspector General of Police and his decision to tackle secessionists. To so tackle the... Secessionists, for those who, people who are you know, clamoring for their own country and wanting to leave Nigeria. Okay. You know what? Presently, the police we have don't have the capacity of tackling all this crime. You know what? Before they get to this stage, where everything should not be on police alone. What about DSS? What is NIA, Nigeria Intelligence Agency, doing about all this? You are definitely to those are the people who have to have detected all this thing before it happens. Prevention is better than cure. Are they, are DSS really working? Police only deal with uh, uh, when it happens. Look, calling the police. You understand? DSS is like, what are they doing? The children in the office are eating granot. Suddenly, so we got police are not just security. DSS are the security officers. All right. And it is their duty before it happens. Uh -huh. It should be in their intelligence report. All right, what Mr. are they doing? Mr. Akinshimori, it's thank you very much for your analysis, you know, saying. The police need to establish a tactical squad, you know, to check, you know, activities of the police, you know, within the agency internally and uh, other recommendations you've made. Thank you again. Huh? All right. All right. Um, I, I didn't know the DSS was having that much granite uh, as a distraction for, uh, to them. Uh, Mr. Ayo, <laughs> good morning. Thanks anyway for your time this morning. It's been a very interesting Thursday morning on The Breakfast. And of course, we've uh, spoken on security and of course, uh, the need for the Nigerian government to name and shame and prosecute those who are sponsoring terrorism in Nigeria. And of course, that's an agenda for the new Inspector General of Police. Uh, we hope that you have a very blissful Thursday ahead. Yes, it's a uh, bye from me and it's a Felix. Have a great day. And I am Osaogi Ogbonwa. Catch up uh, with any part that you may have missed on our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Same thing with our YouTube channel, at Plus TV Africa. Bye for now.